Hey, good morning, Shondrea. Well, three neighborhood associations here in Midtown, they decided that enough is enough. They want to try and make their neighborhoods a whole lot safer, and they're going about it by forming that Fifth Street and Craycroft Coalition. Now, they modeled this after the Alvernon Grant Initiative, which you just mentioned. That initiative started years ago here in Tucson. Now, the idea here is to bring neighborhood associations, local businesses, local nonprofits together once a month. During that monthly meeting, community members will air out any concerns they have and TPD is actually going to be there too. So that'll give community members a chance to talk to officers, maybe give them that chance that they otherwise wouldn't have had. Now the Duffy, the Mittman and the Highland Vista Neighborhood Associations, they are the ones that are taking part in this coalition. And we spoke to the president of the Duffy neighborhood and she told us she's excited about the partnership and excited to see some of the improvements that this could bring. Uh, mostly we want to address crime and safety. We would like to feel safe in our neighborhood. Uh, we don't want to feel guarded. We want to be able to wave to everyone and feel comfortable with everyone. And hey, Engler added that a few of the issues she'd like to see addressed include people sleeping in alleys and washes, people walking through the neighborhood, looking into homes through windows. She also said she'd like anybody who needs help to actually be able to get those resources with the help of TPD officers. Now, if you're interested in attending that first meeting, it is going to be held on February 13th. Anybody who lives or works in this area near 5th Street in Craycroft is welcome to attend. We have the details on our website. That's at Kega9.com. For now, we're live in Midtown. Veronica Acosta, Kega9 on your site. The first patient in the U.S. diagnosed with the coronavirus is now out of the hospital. Washington state officials say the man will stay in isolation while he continues to recover at his home. The man was diagnosed after returning from Wuhan, China last month. No one in the U.S. has died from the virus. And as we mentioned earlier, there's been 11 confirmed cases of the coronavirus all across